Welcome to the kingdom. Hello and praise the Lord. I'm Pastor Fred Moore, pastor of the Kingdom of God Christian Center right here in the beautiful city of Round Rock, Texas. Shout out to my church family. Listen, grace, grace to you, to my beautiful wife, who's my director, and our beautiful family. Love, peace, and blessings to you guys. Love you guys so much. And we want to continue, beloved, with our seal, our thought, take time for yourself. But let me also say, if you're a first-time viewer, welcome to See Live Moments with Pastor Moore. To those of you that's been viewing for a while, we would love for you to consider sharing, subscribing, and giving us a like so that we can spread the gospel of the kingdom to more people. Let's get into our See Live Thought after prayer, Father. Let's pray. Father, we thank you now for our time. Holy Spirit, come, breathe upon this moment, and minister to us, your people, through God's word. In Christ's name, amen. The Selah Thought, beloved, this is our second installment on this particular Selah Thought. The Selah Thought for you, again, is, the Selah Thought for you is, take time for yourself. Take time for yourself. I'm probably saying to some mothers, you need some me time. I'm saying to some brothers, you need some <clears throat> me time. Now, we learn from Jesus' example in Matthew 14, 23, the King James Version reads, And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when even had come, he was there alone. Now, I want to read another scripture to you also from John chapter 6, verse 15, the ESV version. John chapter 6, verse 15. Watch this. The ESV version says, Perceiving then that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king. Watch this. Jesus withdrew again to the mountain by himself. Now that's a loaded scripture as our beloved bishop used to say. That's loaded. In John 6, 15, listen to this beloved. It says, perceiving then that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king. Jesus withdrew again <clears throat> to the mountain by himself. Jesus, beloved, had a habit of withdrawing himself, of, listen, getting away from people, even his disciples. And I, and I deliberately read those scriptures where it says he was alone because, listen, beloved, sometimes God's just, God wants just to spend time with you. You're going to hear me quote the lyrics of this song by uh, the precious man of God, Lionel Harris. Yeah, Lionel Harris used to sing a song, I miss my time with you. See, God don't want time with you and your family, you and your friends. God wants time with just you and him. Jesus spent time alone, <clears throat> excuse me, just him and God. Now, here's one of my favorite scriptures. I'm going to give you one more. And Mark chapter 1, verse 35, this is one of my favorite life scriptures. In verse number, uh, Mark 1, 35, the ESV version says, And rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out into a desolate place, and there he prayed. He was by him. So, now the next verse, which I don't have in this text says, and Jesus, and, I mean, and Peter and the disciples came looking for him, saying, all men seek for thee. But what was Jesus doing? Jesus was seeking for God and men were seeking for him. I taught my church this. Here's the principle. I seek for thee and then you cause them, you cause the men that are important for my life assignment to seek for me. I'm going to say it again. Jesus practiced in Mark chapter 135 because I don't read, the, I don't have the other verses, but it says all men seek for thee. So the principle is I seek for thee and you cause the men that I need to fulfill the assignment on my life to seek for me. Because the next verse in verse 36, which I don't have in my text says, then come with Simon Peter and said unto him, Lord, everybody's seeking for you, but you got to seek for God first. So notice this, beloved. <clears throat> so what happens when we, listen, what happens when we take time for yourself and be alone with God? 
Number one, here's what Matthew 6, 6 says, the ESV version. Matthew 6, 6 says, here's what happens when you and I take time for ourselves and spend time alone with God. In Matthew 6, 6, you're familiar with it, it says, but when you pray, go into your room, shut the door, and pray to your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you. And one translation says, openly. One of our deaconess, deaconess Maxine Johnson wore a shirt and I, I got her making me two of them. Her, her t-shirt said the other day when she was in Bible study said, testimony downloading. <laughs> testimony downloading. So that's what the Bible teaches us about spending time with God. And what does spending time alone with God, if you don't get nothing else, spending time alone with God will refresh you and renew you. In Acts chapter 3, verse number 19 through 21, it says, in, in, in Acts chapter uh, 3, verse 19, it says this. Verse 19 says, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When times of refreshing, times of refreshing, hear that, times, your time, when you take time for yourself, we got, now you don't take time away from God. You take time for yourself to be with God. When times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Beloved, take time for yourself and let that time be with God and watch what he does in secret in your life. Listen, we love for you to reach out to us. If you'd like to email us, you can email us at kgcc96 at gmail.com. That's kgcc96 at gmail.com. You can download our KGCC app or you can visit our website. It's kgccatx.org. We're on all the platforms from Facebook, YouTube, and Spotify. Or you can always join us for one of our in-person services again, Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. and Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. Love, peace, and blessings, beloved.